Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Ashley, I'm a homeschooling mom with seven kiddos. Our oldest is going into eighth grade and that is who I am doing um, this curriculum video on today. So I am switching gears. I just did a preschool video. <laughs> and so that is the story of my life. I have a um, incoming eighth grader, incoming fifth grader, um, second grader, first grader, pre k -er, um, two-year-old, one-year-old. So it is sometimes hard to switch gears because, you know, I don't know, it just is. It's a big, it's a big age difference. Um, thankfully, my older kid likes to do a lot of the stuff that we all do, you know, activity-wise or craft-wise or whatever. So I usually, I don't have any issues with that. But as far as curriculum, um, it's a big change to switch from letters to algebra. <laughs> Um, but I wanted to go over, I, um, I'm kind of doing flip throughs on, um, the curriculum pieces as I get them. Um, I'm still waiting on quite a bit more, so, um, be looking out for that. But the, um, Matthew C curriculum we started using last year for him in seventh grade, um, the pre-algebra. I wanted something where, um, somebody else taught it if, you know, if you didn't understand it, I can help. I'm pretty good at algebra, geometry. I'm going to need all that help from that DVD. This curriculum, they are, go through all ages, but it works the best for my older kids because it's kind of, um, it's very cut and dry. Um, and my younger kids, I just need a little bit more than that. So um, they do have this curriculum um, pieces, math for all ages, but I just use it pretty much for... Um, I guess seventh and up, I guess I could do it. No, not six. It'll be seventh. Seventh will start it. So, um, he really liked that. I started it this year and, um, this past year in pre-algebra and he did really well. So I wanted to show you because this is the algebra, um, what comes with it. I have said before, I will link my pre-algebra video flip through that I did, but, um, it does, you can order the manipulatives the blocks um, or the, I guess that's what they're called, the manipulative blocks. Um, and I, I did not purchase those last year. I, we ended up not, not needing them. Um, he did okay with them. I think it's almost like how you grasp how to do this, these math problems. So, you know, some people are really, really need that, like something to show and, and, um, visualize. He's not really like that. And so, um, I didn't need it. You might need it for your kid. Your kid might need it and it might work much better for him, him or her. They, um, offer it. It is more expensive, obviously, but I wanted to try it without and see how it, how it went. I did not buy it this year again. Um, and if I need it, I will get it. If I find going through the course that we need it, then I'll go ahead and get it. So what it comes with, um, I'm going to open it. Um, it has two packs. It is very well. I got this off Christian books, by the way. Um, that is where I get it. Um, that's where I've gotten it last year and this year as well. And I think they're just, I don't know, they seem to be a little bit cheaper. So I did kind of an, a small order the other day and, um, and so this is where I got it from. So what it comes with, here is your student workbook. This is what they will use. Um, the only thing that I kind of wasn't a huge fan of with this curriculum is the amount of practice problems that were in here. Now, I kind of alter that. Um, I kind of play it by ear. You know, or is there too much? If there's too much, you don't need to do this part. If you understand it, if you don't understand it, we need to do more practice on it. So I guess the the fact that it's available um, as, you know, a lot of practice problems is, is a good idea, but you don't have to do all of those. I think there is kind of an excess of practice. So it is pretty thick, obviously. There are... Um, so what it, it's, it's divided up into, I guess, 35 like lessons and within each lesson, let me show you. Um, okay. Let's just start with, let's just start with, 
Oh, here's a readiness test. Okay, so they have a readiness test up here at the beginning. You guys can see that. Again, this is very cut and dry. There are no pretty pictures. There are no colors. It is just black and white, which is why it would not do well with my younger kids. <laughs> just would not. So um, they have the readiness test. So, you know, if there's something that, that um, they need a little bit of help with before they start the course, then you know that up front. They have a lesson practice, okay? They will have... They will have a lesson practice at the beginning, okay? So what you'll do is you'll watch the video. Um, I will show you that in a second. I mean, I won't show you the video. I'll show you what it looks like. But um, you will watch the video, understand what they're teaching you, and then you will go straight into the lesson practice. So it's not... I think there are maybe a few areas, or they're not. In pre-algebra, there were each lesson kind of started off with a little bit of a summary. If I remember, maybe it wasn't every lesson, but some lessons. Um, so that if you wanted to look at it, you know, on paper, as opposed to listening to it or watching on DVD, um, it had that first. This does not. So it goes straight from the DVD to the lesson practice. So it has the first page is a lesson practice, which is 7A. I'm just looking at chapter seven or lesson seven. Then it has 7B, which is another lesson practice. So that's at least two pages for each. 7C is a systematic review. So I don't know if that's a little bit more detailed or not. I would, like I said, I would just kind of play it by ear, you know, depending on how much your kiddo needs. And then you had 7D, which was another systematic review. Um, and then with 7E, 7E is another systematic review. So it's just a lot of practice, which is good. Um, and then we have, let's see, they have an honors lesson. So I guess you could consider that honors if you did that part as well. Um, do they have that in every? They do, they have it in every chapter. So technically I guess you could do that. I'd have to look at the, um, at the specifics on that. So yeah, here are the block kits that they have at the bottom. They show it on the back of the book if that is something that you were interested in getting. So that is the very basic, very simply, simply laid out um, student workbook. Um, it comes with your DVD. So just your, my kiddo would watch it on the TV um, just so that I could watch it too, and if there's something I had a question on, he does a pretty good job. This guy does a pretty good job. Um, he is in, I think, an actual classroom. Um, it's not you, it's not interactive or anything, but um, he does a really good job of explaining it. Um, now, some things, you know, if you were older and you didn't learn things a certain way and he teaches it a different way, then I kind of show, I would show him my way and then let him decide which one he feels more comfortable doing. Because um, nowadays it feels like there's like new rules to math. I don't know. Um, here's your instruction manual. So this is a hard, hard cover. And so it has all of the answers. So what it does is it has actually at the beginning of the lesson a kind of for yourself. So if you wanted to teach it to them, then it would have that. So you can do, you can kind of refresh if you need it. And um, any of the examples, so they give examples too, so that you can look over it if you need to explain it to them. Um, you know, some kids do better just learning from a physical teacher right there. So the DVD option you don't have to get, but this is for, you know, they also put this in here so that if you want to teach just as a teacher on your own, you can do that as well. So they have the, each lesson, they have the summary of each lesson, and then they go to, let me see, 34, okay. Then they go to um, the solutions. So it gives you the answers to all of those practice problems. And it does actually show it doesn't just give you the straight answer. It actually shows what steps they did to get that answer, which I liked because sometimes I would be like, okay, <laughs> like give me something else. I need to show him how to do it, but I need to show him the steps for that. So um, I like that, that it shows you 
um, the actual, you know, step by step, but then it also shows you how to check it too. So um, I really liked that. So it has all of the review um, answers in this book. And then it comes with a little test booklet so that you can obviously, um, whether or not you need to record tests or not, um, that's up to you. But to make sure that, you know, if they understand it, um, you know, some states you have to do testing and some states you have to log your hours. And some, Texas is not like that. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want, and nobody checks it. So, um, but you can still use this to your advantage and I will probably use this. So they also have the, um, the uh, test answers back here as well as the honors um, lesson uh, solutions too. So um, that is pretty much it for, oh, it does have a um, glossary in the back too. And then it also has a systems and table um, page to where if, you know, there's anything that simply, you know, simple things like AX plus BY equals C or, you know, things like that, um, measurements and things. So that is pretty much it for the Algebra 1. It is laid out the same as the pre-algebra for the most part. Um, and like I said, you can kind of do it how you want it. If you feel comfortable teaching it, then by all means teach it. Um, I think you can get the student workbook just by itself if that's something that you'd rather do. Um, but like I said, the DVD, he does a really good job of it. Um, and I, I learned a thing or two, refreshed my memory a, th a time or two um, with pre-algebra. So I am looking forward to, as far as, as I can tell, we are going to stick with Matthew C through um, high school math. I mean, all the way through, because it is exactly what I needed. Somebody to teach it if I need to. It has all the solutions, it has all the answers. I can look at it, I can teach it if I want, if I feel comfortable teaching it, but I don't have to. So um, anyway, let me know if you have any questions down below, if you've used this, if you like it. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.